Okay, today we're talking about chapter 1.4, and it's all about powers of 10 and exponents. Okay, today your learning goal is by the end of math, you will be able to write and evaluate repeated factors in exponent form. Let's talk for a minute about that word evaluate. Last week when we said, what is this word evaluate? I know, I know, how to, I know that my goal is to be able to write repeated factors in exponent form, but what does evaluate mean? Neha? Solve. So by the end of today at, in math, you'll be able to write and solve repeated factors in exponent form. So it says, expressions with repeated factors, such as 10 times 10 times 10, can be written by using a base with an exponent. Okay? The base is the number that is used as the repeated factor, and the exponent is the number that tells you how many times the base is used as a factor. So let's look at this problem. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Is that a does it have a repeated factor? What is the repeated factor? What number is being repeated over and over and over again? Karan? 10. So 10 is the repeated factor. That means if 10 is the repeated factor, which number is the base? It says the base is the number that is used as the repeated factor. So if 10 is the number that's being repeated, what number is the base? Joseph? What number is the base? The base is the number that tells how that is used as the repeated factor. Marcus? 10. 10, because 10 is the number that keeps being repeated. So that means 10 is the base. Now the exponent is the number that tells you how many times the base is being repeated. So how many times is the base being repeated? If it's 10 times 10 times 10, how many times am I repeating the base? Yarden? 3. 3. So then the exponent is? The word form of 10 to the third power is the third power of 10. So the, in exponent form, it's written as 10 with a little 3 up in the right-hand corner. Okay? The question we're trying to answer here is, what is 10 times 1,000 written with an exponent? Okay, what is 10 times 1, oh, oops. What is 10 times 1,000 written with an exponent, okay? So let's, we're gonna solve this step by step, okay? It says how many ones are in one? How many ones are there in one? one. Liam? One. There's one one in one. Let's go ahead and write that down. One. There's one one in one. Okay, Haruna, how many ones are there in 10? Haruna, how many of these ones cubes are in this 10? In the long. Okay, there are 10 ones in 10. Okay, that's the next step asks us to think about how many 10s are there in 100? How many 10s, Marcus, are there in 100? 10. So we can think of the 100 as being 10 groups, right? of 10, because it, there's 10 ones in the 10, and then there's 10 tens in the 100. Does that make sense? So it's 10 times 10, or 100, right? 10 groups of 10. Now, how many 100s are there in the 1,000? Soham? Soham, how many 100s are there to make 1,000? 10, right? It takes 10 100s to make a 1,000. So we think in our heads, we think that's 10 groups of 100 or 10 groups of 10 times 10. Do you guys see that right here? 10 groups of 10 times 10. Okay. Now how many thousands does it make to take to make 10,000? How many thousands do you need to make 10,000? Yarden? 10. Okay. It says, hummingbirds beat their wings very fast. Okay, the smaller the hummingbird is, the faster the wings beat. The average hummingbird beats its wings about three times 10 to the third, po third power, 10 times a minute. Three times 10 to the third power times a minute. How many times a minute is that, written as a whole number? Okay, so in order to find that out, let's multiply three by powers of 10. And we're gonna, I want you to be searching for a pattern this whole time, okay? 
So first we have three times 10 to the zero power. Remember I told you anything to the zero power is what? One. So three times 10 to the zero power is three times one, which is what, Nathan? Three. three, okay. Then we have three times 10 to the first power, which equals three times 10, because how many times am I multiplying that 10? How many times am I multiplying that 10, Ashi? If it says 10 to the first power, how many times am I multiplying the 10? One, so that equals three times 10. So what's three times 10, Ashi? 30, okay. Then it says three times 10 to the second power. How many times do I multiply the 10 when it's three to 10 to the second power, Clarissa? Yeah, because I'm multiplying 10 times 10, two times. So Clarissa, what's three times 10 times 10? 300, okay. Now finally, it says three to the th times 10 to the third power. When it says 10 to the third power, show me with your fingers, how many times do I have to multiply that repeated factor? How many times? Three, because the exponent is three. So that's why it's three times 10 times 10 times 10. What is three times 10 times 10 times 10, Yan Ming? 3,000. So when it says the average hummingbird beats its wings about three times 10 to the third times a minute, about how many times does the average hummingbird beat its wings in a minute? Tanvi? 3,000. 3,000 yeah. times. Can you imagine? Can you imagine beating your wings 3,000 times in one minute? That's very fast, isn't it? Yeah. Now my question is, what pattern do you see? You saw that three times 10 to the zero is three. Three times 10 to the first power is 30. 3 times 10 to the second power is 300, and 3 times 10 to the third power is 3,000. Talk to your neighbor for a moment. If you have Adam and Clarissa, you guys have a group of three right now. What pattern do you see?